So my red scooter had one of these lithium ion motorcycle batteries installed in it and from what I understand it was brand new. Well it just kicked the bucket on me, I mean I probably didn't even put 50 miles on it. Um, so I wanted to, I have my um, suspicions about why it failed and it probably doesn't have anything to do with the battery itself. I think it has to do with the charging system of the scooters. Uh, the charging system on these guys are pretty flawed. Uh, so I think that's the cause, but I figured since it's dead, might as well take it apart and take a look on the inside so we can understand why they're so lightweight and uh, what makes them so expensive. So first thing I did, which was very ill-advised, <clears throat> is I ran this uh, on my table saw and I, and I notched it out here just to release the uh, top part from the bottom part because they're just they're glued together and then now what I'm doing is I'm prying off these little covers here to expose the screws so I can finish the job I don't know if you can see in there but there's screws holding the top to the bottom so Anyway, I'm going to do that and then I'll bring the camera back once I get into this thing. Alright, so once I got the screws out, uh, this is what you find underneath. So inside there are your battery cells and um, up under the cover here is likely a charge controller or some type of a protection. And then you have your you know, your battery leads. Um, this little carriage is screwed down to the bottom of the battery box so I, I gotta get in there now and with the screwdriver and try to try to get them out. Alright so a couple things I noticed when I pulled this out. First of all there was enough heat to melt back this uh, protective whatever this is an insulating uh, sheet so there was enough heat on this lead to do that um, maybe a little I don't, I don't know it's a little maybe dark in color here. So there's that. This I noticed that this lead actually the uh, jacket on the lead is is torn, um, but I don't think that would affect anything. And I'm guessing all these little wires that feed into this charge controller that's like a monitor. Those are wires that are used to monitor the the uh, charge on each individual cell, and so then it can tell once they've reached their maximum, so it can stop charging. Um, I see on this circuit board, you know, something abnormal, um, and so I guess I'll pull out the circuit board as well and take a look and see if I burned something up on there. And there's your problem right there. So it looks like some type of a resistor. Um, just burned right off of the circuit board. So let me try to explain why I think this happened and why um, I don't recommend lithium batteries for this model of motorcycle. The Honda C70 line is notorious for not having a voltage regulator on the charging system. So what that means is um, that it uses the battery as the voltage regulator and that regulator um, well the battery is what controls the voltage it goes to the, all the lights and everything so what the first thing that happens when your battery quits working is you burn out all your light bulbs and I believe and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure that these um, at high RPMs will generate quite a large um, voltage so if you look at the top of this battery, they have a couple of guidelines on here. Let's try to get it to focus. And it has a standard charging voltage of 14.4 volts and a maximum charging voltage of 14.8 volts. And I have measured these before um, on the charging circuit and I've seen them go over 16 volts. And so I'm guessing sustained periods of time at over 16 volts results in that. 
So the cells might be good. I might try slapping a charger directly on the cells and seeing if they'll hold a charge again, but um, the control board is fried and I'm not uh, going to put something like this back in those scooters because they'll just uh, heat them up until they explode. It's an unfortunate development, but, um, you know, a replacement battery for me is only about $18, so it's not that big of a deal, and I'll just go back to the old sealed lead-acid gel batteries that, uh, that it's actually what I have in the blue scooter. They seem to work fine, and they seem to handle the higher uh, charging voltage that these guys tend to produce at high RPMs. All right, well, thanks for... Uh, Coming with me on this little journey, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And if you have any suggestions of what to do with these uh, lithium cells, I'm all ears. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.